गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज डॉज सो वॉट यू मीन बाई डॉज डॉज स्टैंड फॉर डिस्क ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दैट मीन्स दिस इज वन काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड वॉट यू मीन बाई ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज वन काइंड ऑफ इंटरफेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेज द यूजर इंट्रैक्ट विद द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम राइट सो दिस इज वन काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम earlier if we we could say that uh, in the earlier generations we were using disk operating system right so this follows basically the cui interface right what do you mean by cui means command user interface right like uh, in nowadays we are using uh, uh, like windows so windows is what windows supports the graphical user interface right we are having different uh, different graphics for each and every software right so that means uh, like windows operating system is one kind of gui uh, operating system means it uh, like uh, it basically provides the graphical user interface where as like in the earlier days we were having disk operating system because we were not having the facility of the graphics right so at that time the user interacts with the computer system with the help of commands right with the help of commands the user interacts with the computer system right so that is why it is known as like dos uh, follows or dos uh, basically having the cui interface that means command user interface right so what do you mean by it so that means uh, like in case of dos we just interact with the computer system with the help of commands right so now you just learn it with the help of uh, some set of commands right so first of all what you have to do first of all you have to go into this start menu right after that you have to write command prompt here what do you have to write command prompt done you have written command prompt now you just open it right so this is your command prompt right now like the what is this c colon uh, then oblique users oblique del what is this this is basically known as the default prompt right what exactly it is it is basically known as the default prompt what is the meaning of it now let us understand like the default prompt means like currently we are working in a c drive right what do you mean by it like currently we are working in a c drive right because in case of my computer we are having different kind of hard drives right we uh, we are having like c drive we could have we could have e drive we could have d drive right different drives we we can have even our uh, like in a computer system right so uh, right now we are working uh, in c drive right and these are what like what exactly the meaning of users and what exactly the meaning of dell so these two are the folders right these two are the folders so and uh, in case of ms dos there is one important thing that the folders in case of ms dos the folders are known as uh, directories then folders are known as directories it means uh, like if you wants to check the number of folders within your drive so what you could do you could write dir command right what do you could write you could write dir command so that you could check like how many folders you are having in your current drive right is it clear so uh, you like currently we are in c drive and under c drive we are having one folder that uh, the and the name of that folder is users right we are having one folder the name of the folder is users and under users folder we are having one another sub folder and the name of the sub folder is dell is it clear so under the users folder we are having one another sub folder and the name of the sub folder is dell right now the first command is like uh, what is the first command uh, for example you wants to get exit from these two folders right but one by one you wants to get exit from the folder right so what is your first question like how you could use the first command in ms dos for example uh, like you wants to get exit from this sub folder right 
लाइक यू वॉन्ट्स टू गेट एग्जिट फ्रॉम दिस डेल फोल्डर तो वॉट यू हैव टू राइट यू हैव टू राइट सी डी कमांड डॉट डॉट राइट यू हैव टू राइट सी डी डॉट डॉट राइट द कमांड नेम इज सी डी डॉट डॉट आफ्टर दैट एज सुन एज यू वुड प्रेस एंटर देन लाइक यू वुड गेट एग्जिट फ्रॉम द डेल फोल्डर राइट इज इट क्लियर राइट now uh, for example you wants to again get enter into del folder right you wants to get enter into del folder right now what command you could use now you wants to get enter right so you could write cd you could write cd and by providing one uh, space you could you have to write the folder name in which you wants to get enter done so you just write d e l l and press enter done so what is the meaning of it like uh, you have entered into the del sub folder is it clear now the next command the next command of ms dos is for example you are having multiple folders right you are having multiple folders means you have uh, already entered into multiple folders for example currently you are in a uh, users folder and under users folder you are having one sub folder that is del and like it could be ki like you are having one other sub folder under del right so you are currently in the third sub folder as well right so now what you wants to do ki you wants to get exit from all these multi folders so what you could do you have to write one command that is cd slash any type of slash you could use it could be backslash it could be forward slash right then after that you just press enter then what happened you have get exit from multiple folders then is it clear so this is basically the third command then now in case of ms dos we are having two types of command the first one is internal command and the another one is external command right so internal commands means uh, like in which we doesn't need any support right for example date command right this is not case sensitive like you could write in uh, lower case even though you could write in upper case right it's your wish so uh, for example uh, like you wants to check the system date because you are having no graphics right uh, you just suppose that um, in the earlier time we were having uh, only this command prompt right at that time we were not having any kind of graphical user interface so at that time how we could use or how we could check the system date right so for that purpose we were having date command right so directly you just write date date after that you just press enter the current system date would be printed onto the screen right so this is the current system date then is it clear now the next command is time command for example you wants to check like what exactly the time uh, is being happening or like uh, what is the current time of your system so uh, you just write time command after that press enter button the current time would get printed onto the screen then now uh, like for example you wants to check click uh, currently in which windows version you are working because right now we are in 2022 that means currently we are not using ms dos right because in nowadays we are having uh, like windows operating system and even though in case of windows we are having different different versions right with different different settings right so uh, that means that means uh, we are having different versions of uh, like uh, windows and you wants to know that what is the current version of windows in which you are working right so if you wants to know that then what do you have to write you have to write ver command right you have you don't have to write the complete name ver sion version right you need to write only ver command after that you just press enter so the current version of microsoft windows would get printed on the screen right so this is the current version of the windows done now if you wants to check the volume then you just write vol v o l command not uh, you need not to write the complete name like v o l u m e 
right you have to write only the vol command after that you have to press enter then the current volume or the it would be printed onto the screen right so just like that we are having uh, various internal commands then now one another important uh, command in case of ms dos is for example uh, what do you do first of all you just clear all these things which are printed onto the screen right so for that purpose as well we are having one command right and what is the name of it cls you could write in lower case letters as well right this is not case sensitive this is not case sensitive that means like you could write even though in upper case and you could write in lower case it's your wish so what is the meaning of cls the meaning of cls is clear the screen right so you wants to clear the screen then write cls after that press enter the screen would be cleared right now uh, one important uh, uh, like command in case of ms dos is for example uh, you wants to create one folder right you wants to create one folder with your name right with your name you wants to create one folder so for that purpose we are having one command that is md command so what do you mean by md m stands for make and d stands for directory right that means you wants to create one directory and like i have told you that in case of ms dot uh, like in case of ms dos directory stands for folder right directory stands for folder so that means with the help of this md command with the help of this md command we wants to create one type of folder in c drive right what is the meaning of it like within the c drive you wants to create one folder right so that is why we have written md means make the directory then but uh, you must have to give the folder name like which kind of folder you wants to create means what exactly uh, would be the name of the folder right so for example uh, you wants to create one folder by having name that is uh, you could say uh, information technology information uh, underscore technology done after that you just uh, press enter now there is no error message right that means even though there is no success message like it has been created but what is the meaning of it if there is no error message that like one folder having name information underscore technology has been created right you don't need to write md then information space technology because if you would write if you would provide a space between these two uh, names information and technology then separately two folders would be created then is it clear means within this single command you could create multiple folders as well right if you wants to create four folders five folders within only the c drive by having different different names so you could do so right by providing one line space uh, sorry one line space no only one space like you could write another folder name right so if i would write md space information space technology then two folders information and the another folder technology would be created then that means how many folders i have created till now the first folder is information underscore technology this is one folder then then the another folder which i have created is information and the next third folder which i have been created that is technology right with the help of this example i just want to clear that if you would provide any space between these two then two separate folder would be created right so if uh, like uh, in future uh, you are creating any kind of folder then you just uh, like uh, check like uh, you wants to create the separate folders or you wants to create one single folder by having two words name done okay now the question arises like how to check how to check like whether the folders which you have uh, been created right which you have been created has uh, all uh, like has been created in the c drive or not 
right whether the commands which you have given now that means md uh, space information and it's underscore technology it has been created or not you want to check it right or uh, you could say that if you want to check like how many folders exist how many folders exist within the c drive so how you could check for that purpose as well we are having a one command right so what is the name of the command right the command name is dir right so why do we use this dir command we just use this dir command uh, like for checking that how many folders like exist in c drive so you just write dir uh, whether in case of lower case or it could be in upper case after that you just press enter so all the folders would be displayed onto the screen right all the folders would be displayed onto the screen right the first folder is up in our apps d drive dell documents drivers these are what these all are the folders even though the date is also uh, written over here like on which date has have been created and what was the time at that time right dir means the number of folders done now just check like this folder i have been created information then one other folder i have been created that is information let's go technology and one other folder it must have that means the technology just check yes technology so we are having separate separate folders right now the question arises for example uh, like you wants to create one sub folder under this uh, like you could say under this information technology folder you wants to create one sub folder so what do you have to do so for that purpose uh, like what do you have to do first of all you you have to get enter into that separate folder right for example if you wants to create one uh, sub folder under information technology right in this folder you wants to create one sub folder so first of all you have to get enter into like with the help of cd command we could get enter into this information technology now you just write information underscore technology and press enter right you could check you could check that currently currently we are under currently we are under information technology folder that means now all the commands which you which you are writing currently uh, like would be under would be uh, stored under this information technology folder right for example you wants to create one sub folder right the command would be same like for creating any sub folder the command would be same only the thing which you have to remind is like first of all you have to get enter into that folder under which you wants to create one sub folder right so we just write md space um, sample and press enter right so one sample folder has been created and if you wants to check ki whether the one sub folder having name that is sample has been created or not so you just write dir command here you could check right you could check yes it has been